So, we're back outside having a little test here, and today I wanted to talk about a brand that I'm wearing right now. Like, I never really make a focus on talking about brands, but I wanted to talk about this one in particular and why it is important that I'm bringing it to the attention. Now, for those that don't know, recently in the last month or so, Skepta became one of the latest global ambassadors for the brand Puma, which is the brother of Adidas, i.e. Adidas and Puma, they're both made by brothers. It's kind of funny when we talk about brands like Puma, you know, like, I don't know, I'm holding the tripod and this at the minute, so it's quite heavy, but it's just a brand that's sort of like been at the same level as like say Adidas for a long time but then it goes to these points where it really has to do things out of the box because people just don't like it like there's a natural narrative of people that just prefer Adidas to Nike. All right there side eye Spen. What I was actually getting to is that there's a natural narrative of people who prefer Nike to Adidas however there are a lot of people that prefer Adidas to Nike and I believe that one of the main points comes down to the aesthetic of it all. But I genuinely believe that it's got to be because of the aesthetic it has. And what's interesting for me about this is the way that Puma's been seen for the longest time and how this new relationship is gonna change how it's seen in the future. There's a lot of people over the course of time that have probably had residual feelings about Puma, maybe for things that they've actually done or just for the fact that the brand hasn't been at the same level as say Adidas or Nike. And I do sit on the side of the aesthetic. I think that the Puma logo for a long time has had a lot of neglect because it doesn't look as sleek as say the swoosh on a Nike. The Adidas trefoil can look nice. The 90s mountain one can look nice. Puma's pretty much fixed with just the actual Puma above the four letter word Puma. Do I genuinely think that Skepta being a global ambassador is gonna make me start wearing Puma? I don't know. I've just put this Puma sweatshirt on and I actually really like it. It fits really nice and I've got no complaints with it. I come from the aesthetic standpoint of how I perceive brands. Like there's a reason I've never really wore Adidas compared to Nike and it's just because the swoosh is a lot cleaner for me from an aesthetic standpoint than Adidas is. Puma unfortunately kind of got rebuttaled in with Slazenger, which was like the stretched Puma aesthetic type of look. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what Skepta does with the brand as a part of like who he is. I wanted to bring this to the attention, just kind of, again, just very casually chatting about this, not really with a direction, but I find it very interesting how these celebrities that have a big impression on a big audience already are brought in as global ambassadors and how that ecosystem has changed overnight or over time. Remember, most things in second hand have a knock-on earthquake-like effect a bit of time after, say, fast fashion. You gotta think, the fast fashion response or the happening right now response is the epicenter of the earthquake and the ripples that happen maybe hours later are the second-hand equivalent. But in the second-hand equivalent, those ripples are represented over maybe months later. So what I'm trying to get by is that Skepta being the ambassador for Puma is great now for Puma in the moment of the fashion that they're creating, but it might take a little bit of time for the second-hand market to jump onto how cool Puma is. I think that if you are buying something second-hand sustainably, it's cool regardless of whether it's Primark, Zara, flipping Nike, Adidas, Ralph. I know using the fast fashion examples is not ideal, but what I'm talking about is the fact that if you're buying something secondhand sustainably, who cares what the brand is? Who cares? As long as you're doing something good and you're buying in that sort of ecosystem, it's perfect. And I think that might have been to its detriment a little bit and hopefully that's a point that Skepta or hopefully that's a point that Puma start to approach and try to address and try and fix. I think that a lot of the issues these brands have is that once you get this status quo of being in a certain space, every different little intricate move you make is gonna have massive impacts on that brand, the way it's perceived, the way that people buy into it, and how people actually consume the culture of it. I still respect the fact that Puma and Adidas are brothers and that it's really cool that they've both brought out like brands that are managed to be in the top five sportswear brands. In terms of like Skepta and his impression on Puma, how this is gonna change the brand, we don't really know yet. But what we do know is that he brought out a music video recently and hopefully I can show the screenshot here where he's wearing this really cool green puffer by Puma. It's gonna be an example of how his impression in his music is gonna take a role into the brand as well. Is Skepta now gonna be wearing Prada with Puma? Are we gonna be normalizing Puma with high-end brands? How is the infrastructure and the ecosystem of Puma going to change as a result of this relationship that Skepta now has with the German brand Puma? Can I say Puma and Skepta more? Yes, Puma, Skepta, Skepta, Puma, Puma. I just find it really exciting. I'm always very intrigued by the celebrities, the influence type of people that start to have an impression on brands and how that actually changed the ecosystem. And you've got to remember, when brands are at a lower point in comparison, they have all to gain and nothing to lose. Whereas somebody like Adidas and Nike have to be very careful with where they are on the pedestal. Like Nike towers above Adidas and Adidas probably towers above Puma. Hopefully at this point there might be a little Google trend showing you the amount of search that Adidas gets versus Puma. Little things like that let you know exactly where the brand is in the market and understand where its growth, where its room for improvement could be, 
and how it could really leverage itself to get back to where it needs to be. But maybe where it needs to be is below all the brands. Maybe being the underdog of a brand is better. Maybe that's why Skepta got involved with Puma. But who knows? If you want to learn more about why Skepta got involved with Puma, I can do some deep diving where I'm not squinting in the sun talking to you and I can do it on the computer with a bit of shade. I won't go into this, but I'll just brush over it. But you look at the relationship that Kanye West had with Adidas. Maybe granted it's not ended in the best way for him right now with him accusing them of not bringing out the right colors that he'd given the rights to. But again, that might be a whole different story. But his impression on bringing Yeezys out encouraged people to think, yeah, actually, I do like Adidas as a byproduct of liking Kanye West. That's a real law of how it works. Somebody can like something as a byproduct of you liking it. If I'm wearing this Puma sweatshirt now, there might be somebody out there that goes, that actually looks really nice on Spen. Maybe I'll have a look and see if Puma could be a nice item for me. And I'm not an influencer or a celebrity in that respect, but I'm just somebody representing it and talking about it, and it has that added factor. Let me know your thoughts. Do you want me to cover anything a bit more intricately? Do you want me to start doing some deep dives on certain brands, on certain celebrities? on the way that certain cultures have shifted. Do you really want to know my opinion on Carhartt and Stussy? Do you really want to know why I don't sell those brands? Fun fact though, I did actually used to sell Carhartt in about 2014, so it is literally 10 years ago I was selling that brand, and there's a big reason why I don't sell it. As always, stay safe and sustainable and trust your own process. Try and be as present as possible because you don't need to think about what's happened, what's going to happen. Just worry about where you are right now. And most importantly, don't worry about where you are right now. Be grateful for it. Big up, lots of love. See you later.